So if you're new to Blender like me, you have probably seen a lot of people talk about this tutorial. Lots of people start their Blender journey here and often suggest newcomers of Blender to also start from this tutorial. You can probably already take a guess as to what I'm talking about and that is none other than the infamous donut tutorial by Blender Guru. By any chance, if you don't know what the donut tutorial is, here is a quick rundown. It is a compilation of video that helps people who are new to Blender by showcasing different functionalities in Blender by creating a donut. The latest donut tutorial for Blender 4.0 is made out of 14 videos starting from modeling and all the way up to rendering and putting everything together. Now, like everyone else, I would also suggest starting your Blender journey here. That is because of two key things that I found very helpful from this tutorial. Number one, ease of understanding. The truth is I'm recording this audio several weeks after I have already completed the donut tutorial. And I have followed some other tutorials in the meantime. And one thing I have noticed from the donut tutorial is how easy it is to follow along and understand what Blender Guru is trying to explain. Even if you don't understand what he's talking about, you can just follow along and click the buttons he is clicking and still get a decent result by the end. And I think for a beginner, it is better to follow a tutorial to completion and that at least by the end of it, you can look back and be proud of something that you created from scratch. To me, this tutorial felt like somebody was holding my hand or guiding me through the process. The second key point is the amount of topics you learn. From the beginning until the end, not only are you making something complex, but also learning what can be done in Blender itself. Now, Blender Guru doesn't go over everything that Blender has to offer, but he does cover a lot of grounds. Some of the topics you learn are modeling, sculpting, shading, geometry node, modeling round sprinkles and long sprinkles, layout, lighting, compositing, camera animation, and last but not least, rendering and putting it all into a video format. Now that's a lot of things that is covered in this tutorial. As much as I appreciate that, I was also having a hard time remembering earlier topics that I just learned. Now this could be because I was doing this over a span of multiple days, or it could be because I was new to Blender, or it could be because of how many topics are taught in this tutorial. I personally think it might be a combination of all three of these things. I just wanted to let you know this ahead of time just in case this also happens to you as well. Now I think it's better to think of this tutorial as a stepping stone, a place where you dip your toes in to test out the water. And like I mentioned earlier, the tutorial gives you a sense of what is possible with Blender and having all of this information crammed into one tutorial helps you comprehend what Blender is and what you can do with each tool. Chances are, if you enjoyed making the donut and following this tutorial, then you are going to enjoy working in Blender. A bit of a side note, this whole tutorial took me almost 10 hours to complete, which is probably much longer than it should have taken, but I was working on a laptop and using my phone as a secondary screen where I was playing the tutorial. And because of the small screen, I'm having to rewind things and having to watch things over and over again. So even if you only have a laptop, this is definitely doable, it just might take a bit longer than usual. Lastly, I'm putting a link to the original video in the description down below. Feel free to check out the original video by Blender Guru and just give it a try. But that's enough of me talking. Here is the final rendered video. Enjoy. Overall, I think it came out great for being my first ever Blender project. I think I should have dialed it back with the shiny glare, but I'm happy with the result nonetheless. So I think this will do it for today. 
And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next week with another tutorial.